Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, from Kendamenda Hall Stadium, Bonners Ferry, at Bonners Ferry High School. We're just about to open the season on the 1996 varsity football. The players are lined up. The Badgers apparently won the toss because they're going to be kicking, maybe it's too many Sandpoint probably won the call, toss the Bulldogs because the Badgers will be kicking off to them. New season for the Badgers. They have high hopes. Relatively small team and the Sandpoint Bulldogs across the way have players all over the place. Short kick. Going to be down at about the 35-yard line in a big pileup. Looks like getting up from the uh, pile, or I think making a tackle was number 38, or, or be number 39, excuse me, for the Bonner's Free Badgers. That is Cade LaMarche. And so now Sandpoint will come out on offense. They have a high formation offense. Two men split to the right. Quarterback is all set. Brett Taylor. And there's some running room right up the center. Looks like a nice gainer by number 32, Jeremy Thielbar, as he punches the ball out to about the 42, 43 yard line where it brings up a second down and about four yards to go. Badgers set on defense. High formation once again for the Sand Point Bulldogs. This time they try the left side and there's gonna be enough for a first down as carrying the ball is Thielbar once again before he's tackled by the Badger defense. Enough for a first down, two plays, and the Sandpoint Bulldogs have picked up a first down, the first of the game. They are now on the 48-yard line, first and 10. Thielbar has them lined up once again, I formation. Right side, and a big pile up, punching through the line before being brought down by number 34 of the Bonners Frey Badgers. That is Clint Arthur along with a couple other Badgers. Nevertheless, another nice gainer as the ball is now out to about the 47, 48 yard line in the Badger territory. I formation once again as Steel Bar calls the signals, a tall gentleman back to pass and it is tipped, tipped at the line of scrimmage by number 31 of the Bonners Frey Badgers. Jesse Ross, excuse me. Jesse Ross, number 37, not number 31, tipped that ball and once goes incomplete, now brings up a Third down, and looks like about six yards to go for the first down as the Bulldogs break the huddle. They're up the line of scrimmage. Badger defense sets once again. Matt, Matt Thielbar, they try, and their ball comes loose, and I think the Badgers have it. Thielbar looked to hand off, and the gentleman wasn't there to hand off, and he goes down on the ground trying to recover it, and the Badgers come out of there with it. So the Badgers get the first turner over the game, goes in their favor. And it's pretty close to midfield, so the Badgers have some pretty tremendous field position. Tonight's game being brought to you by Valeli Enterprises Incorporated. Professionally managing the Kootenai Valley Motel, 
Mr. Suds Car Wash, and Balali Real Estate. Also, by the Corner Drugstore downtown Bonners Ferry, Tom Byers is the owner, where your health is their concern. Badgers break the huddle. Todd Van Gundy is the quarterback. Man split to the left. Van Gundy with the I formation, fakes the handoff, passes quickly over the center, and it's ball comes out. Bounced off there. Just couldn't hang on to it. So it'll be second down now and 10 yards to go as the Badgers had him open. He had the ball in there, but he also heard the footsteps behind him. The ball came loose and Sandpoint thought it was a not thought thought it was a missed interception, but they couldn't get a hold of it there. It was just an incomplete pass. Tyler Hurst comes split to the left. Now he goes over to the right side. Split backs in the backfield. Man in motion. And they try the left side. Looks like the ball might have come loose again. There's a big pile up as they push him back. And there's little, if any, gain on that play. They might give him the forward motion up to the midfield stripe, which will be a gain of about a yard. It is. They give him a yard. So it'll be third down and nine. As the Sandpoint Bulldog defense, taller and heavier than the Badger offense, stiffening up right here. Badgers trying to get into Bulldog territory. We have a good crowd on hand for the Badgers tonight, and if you look across the way, we have a tremendous crowd from Sandpoint coming up tonight for their first game of the season also. Van Gundy fakes it, rolls out to his, and the ball goes incomplete. Van Gundy roll out to his left, pass out there to Whiney, couldn't hang on to it. That's Bo Whiney, so that brings up a fourth down and still nine yards to go, and that'll bring up the punt formation. Tafts is also a sponsor tonight. Tafts is to your family center in downtown Bonners Ferry and also your Radio, Sh Radio Shack headquarters. Badgers once again break the huddle. Bulldogs drop one man back. Everybody else is going to be coming. Good snap. Kick is away. Good long kick this time. It's going to come down on about the 25-yard line, and the Badgers are going to touch it dead on about the 27-yard line. We're Sandpoint on their second possession of this game will take over. First and 10. We have uh, 10 minutes and 25 seconds to go. We have no score in the game. Tonight's game also being sponsored by the Pondere Veterinary Service, Sandpoint, Idaho, serving all animals, whether large or small. And from Spokane, Washington, by Pacific Coca-Cola Balling Company, where they distribute the full line of Coca-Cola products. Sandpoint Bulldogs break the huddle, stick with the eye formation. Field bar at quarterback. Gives it to the second man, and he has a big hole, and he is still on his feet before being finally tripped up. That's number 32. Jeremy Othielbar gets down there. Big gainer that time for the Sandpoint Bulldogs as they get the ball all the way out to about the 45-yard line, where it's a first and 10 for the Sandpoint Bulldogs, and a couple of shoestring tackles by a couple of Badger defenders save that from being a touchdown. Brett Taylor passes off to his right and could have been intercepted by number one of the Bonners Ferry Badgers, Adam Hyatt. By the time he saw it, the ball was past him. A little bit thrown behind the intended receiver, but Adam Hyatt was right there on the defense. So it brings up a second down, 10 yards to go as the Badger defense held on that down. One man split the right, eye formation once again in the backfield. Some room in the middle as they punch it across the midfield stripe, I believe, into Badger territory. LaMarche was in on the tackle. Ball resting right on the midfield stripe. Levi Robertson on the tackle. We're down under 10 minutes to go in this first quarter. Pitch out. Coming around, the field bar has the ball. Comes around the right side, turns the corner, and he gets down to about the 44-yard line as number 14, Brett Taylor, took that ball, pitched it out to field bar, and he did the rest. Got it up there, enough for a first down into Badger territory, down to the 44-yard line. First and 10 for the Sandpoint Bulldogs.
Brett Taylor and the Sandpoint Bulldogs break the huddle. They stick with their eye formation with Thielbar and the fullback. Number 25 is the up back. That's Nick Johnson, Jackson, excuse me, a long downfield pass. It's going to be complete and saving the touchdown with a tackle was number 25 for the Bonners Frey Badgers. That is Bo Whiney. Bo Whiney saved the touchdown. But nevertheless, that puts the Sandpoint Bulldogs deep in the Badger territory, down to about the 10-yard line, first and 10. Looks like they're going to mark the ball just outside the 10-yard line, so the Bulldogs can get a first down without going into the end zone. As Brett Taylor hands it off to Thielbar, and he goes right up the middle, runs over the Badgers, and gets into the end zone, I believe. No, he's short of the end zone. He's down there close to the first down marker, though, as he just rumbled and rambled over the Badger defenders. They're going to probably measure this. they calling... Freighters are calling it a first down. They're going to measure this. So that brings the clock down to 8 minutes and 13 seconds, and the Sandpoint Bulldogs are really threatening now. Big pile up. Big pile up, but there is a touchdown. Teal Bar takes it and punches it in. So the Sandpoint Bulldogs come away with a first score of tonight's game, the opening game of varsity football. They score six points on the Bonners Frey Badgers, and they'll come out nine for the point after touchdown. We're going to see if they go for the point or the two points. We'll have to wait and see what they do. They got the kicking tee out. <coughs> Number 82 will be the holder. That's Caleb Bowman. Good snap. Kick is up, and a kick appears to be good right through the center of the uprights. So the Sandpoint Bulldogs punch the way downfield in a drive, their second drive of the evening, and come away with a 7 to nothing lead. Seven minutes and 55 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Badgers will get ready to receive as Coach Todd, Ted Reynolds goes out there to talk to the Bonner's Frey Badgers. Bulldogs ready to do the kicking. We have Adam Hyatt back deep to get this kick along with number 25, Bo Whiney, and number 34. The kick is away. Good deep kick, Adam Hyatt. But there are some whistles upfield. So Adam Hyatt caught it right on the goal line, but there might have been an illegal formation. I think some of the Sandpoint Bulldogs got ahead of the ball. There's a flag down in their end of the territory right about the 40-yard line. They'll bring that back, kick it off again. I think they'll have to kick it back a little further. And tonight's game, as well as the entire season, we should mention, will be dedicated to Robbie Shellman. They've already had a moment of silence before the game started, and the fans, both sides of the field, as well as all the players, honored that moment of silence. Kicking this time, they'll be doing it from the 35-yard line. Adam Hyatt once again back deep to get this kick, along with Bo Whiney. And also Clint Arthur. Brandon Eller to do the uh, kicking honors. He kicked a long one that last time, so he's got the leg there to do it. Good long one again. Going to go down almost to the goal line. Right up high, fumbles it, picks it up, and heads out. Gets out to just about the 15, out to the 20. Jigs and jogs around, still on his feet. Still has a chance, one man to beat, and he's on his way. Gets out to about midfield before he's finally brought down by number 16, Maya Eisfinder. Brought him down, or Adam Hyatt would have gone for a touchdown. Looked like he was kind of a goner down there after he bobbled the ball, but he made up for it by a good run downfield. And so the Badgers find themselves in good field position up at about their own 49-yard line. First and 10 as Todd Van Gundy brings him out of the huddle. Man split wide right. And that's Brian Meeker. Split backs in the backfield. Handoff right up the middle. 
Big pileup. They got into Bulldog territory for the first time tonight as Adam Hyatt was the ball carrier. They gave it to him and Adam Hyatt kept those feet churning so they'll bring up a second down and looks like about eight yards to go. About a two yard gain. Going wide right this time for the Bonner Spray Badgers. Tyler Hurst. High formation for the Badgers. First man gets the ball. That's number 40. No room to run. He heads outside trying to turn the corner. That's Rhett Whiney. And he does that all on his own as he gets down there close to the 45 yard line in Sandpoint Bulldog territory. But that'll bring up a third down. They're going to mark it at about the 36 yard line. Excuse me, the 46 yard line. Third down and about five yards to go. So they have a considerable amount of yardage to go here, but it's possible to make the first down. Might be the first passing play tonight for the for Todd Van Gundy and the Badgers as they have two men split to the left. Adam Hurst, Josh Stanley passes away and it's picked off, picked off. And Adam Hyatt right there Bringing down number 16 for the, that's Maya Eisfielder. Intercepted that, and Adam Hyatt had to brought him, bring him down. So instead of the Badgers trying to get the first down, we now have a Sandpoint Bulldogs trying to go to the Badger end zone once again as they have the ball first and 10 on about their own 44 yard line. Clock down, five minutes and 49 seconds. Score, seven Bulldogs, Badgers. Have yet to score. Taylor, Brett Taylor just kept that ball on a quarterback sneak and gets it right up to midfield. A nice gainer. That brings up a second down and about four yards to go for the Sandpoint Bulldogs. In fact, he gets across the midfield stripe into Badger territory, pretty close to the 49 yard line. High formation once again for the Bulldogs. Badger defense is set. They try the left side of the line, field bar, and he jumps over a couple of gentlemen in the line, defenders, and gets down there for a first down, just outside the 40 yard line to about the 42 before being brought down by the Badger defense in an attack. I believe that time was number 57 for the Bonner Spray Badgers, Jeff Myers. First and 10 once again for the Sandpoint Bulldogs as Brett Taylor has him set once again. Back to pass. Taylor gets it away and it is going to be complete. Down. Inside the 20, complete. Bowman makes the pass catch. And so the Sandpoint Bulldogs once again moving their inside Badger territory down to the 19 yard line, first and 10. Reception made by Caleb Bowman on the last pass, and he goes split wide right this time. Field bar, the deep back once again. The up back, number 25, Nick Jackson. Field bar gets it, and he just bulls his way down to about the 10 yard line. In fact, inside the 10 yard line, where he's brought down by number 19, Whiney of the uh, Bonner Spray Badgers. Excuse me, Josh Stanley. Josh Stanley brings him down. So the Badgers, once again, getting a little bit further back to the to their own goal line and from the sidelines, they're calling a timeout. They want to talk this over. Badger timeout, three minutes and 59 seconds remaining. First quarter, seven Bulldogs, zero Badgers, and the Sandpoint Bulldogs are threatening. Vallely Enterprises Incorporated, they professionally manage the KB Motel in Bonners Ferry, the Kootenai Valley Motel, the Mr. Suds Car Wash, and Vallely Real Estate. Tonight's game also brought to you by Pacific Coca-Cola Bottling Company of Spokane, Washington, where they distribute those full line of refreshing Coca-Cola products. Tonight's game also being brought to you by Ponderay Veterinary Service, serving all animals, whether large or small. From downtown Bonners Ferry, one of your sponsors, Taft's, your family department center, and Radio Shack headquarters. And also by the corner drugstore, Tom Byers, the owner and proprietor, for your health is their only concern. First and goal to go for the Sandpoint Bulldogs on about the Badger nine yard line. 
And number 25 gets the handoff this time, and he gets into the end zone. That is Nick Jackson, and he just ran over all the Badger defenders once again, gets into the end zone. So now we have a 13 and nothing lead in favor of the Sandpoint Bulldogs. And looks like the kicking tee is coming out for the point after touchdown. Three minutes, 54 seconds remaining, first quarter. Currently 13, Bulldogs, Badgers have zero. Eller doing the honors of the kicking. Ball is down, kick is up, and looks to be true from our angle, it is good. The officials down there signal a point after touchdown is good, so it's 14. Bulldogs, Badgers have yet to score. Pondere Veterinary Service, Sandpoint, Idaho, where they give complete veterinary service for both large and small animals, and they also have a complete line of medicine for these animals, as well as doing all types of surgery. So if you have a pet, and many people do, and they love their pets, find some wonderful, kind, loving care at the Ponderay Veterinary Service, Sandpoint, Idaho. Badgers find themselves behind by 14 points. The kick is good long went downfield. Adam Hyatt takes it about the five yard line, drops the ball, picks it up, heads up field once again. And this time he'll get out to about the 20 yard line where he's brought down by a host of Sandpoint defenders. When he gets to about the 21 yard line where the Badgers will take over first and 10. And looks like Adam Hyatt does some of his best running after he drops and fumbles around the ball. Picks it up and does some good ground gaining. Looks like they're gonna put the ball in the 21 yard line where it's first and 10 for the Bonnersbury Badgers. They're talking things over in the huddle. Now they break the huddle. Todd Van Gundy brings him up. Adam Hyatt split to the left. Split backs in the backfield. And goes out on the right side. It's a complete out in the flat, but it's going to be a short gain, maybe about a yard. We'll have to see who the gentleman is that he hit out there. Looks like number Jesse Ross caught that ball. Makes a reception, gets about a little more than a yard gainer. Takes the ball out to the 20, 23 yards, 23 yard line, I should say. The Badgers have a second down now and a long nine, long eight. Quick handoff, they try the right side of the line and not much going there. Bo Whiney, I think of the ball carrier. Bo Whiney, the ball carrier, picks up some nice yardage there, about three yards. So they'll now have a third down and about five. It didn't look like that much of a gain, but Bo Whiney punched it out there for a couple yards and looks pretty good, about three yards, I should say. Clock down to two minutes and 10 seconds now in this first quarter. Two men split to the left. High formation in the backfield for the Badgers. Todd Van Gundy. Looks a little mix up, almost goes down. And he's gonna try and run it himself. A little bit of mix up in the backfield and he'll get out there to about the 30 yard line. That could be enough for a first down where he's brought down by a couple of defenders. Number 50 among them there. Number 50 for Sandpoint, Ryan Knowles. Excuse me, Ryan Knowles. Fourth down and a long one. Looks like the Badgers are gonna try and get it. That'll give them a little bit of a boost if they can pick it up. High formation in the backfield. Todd Van Gundy calls the signals. Back to pass. And it's right over to Adam Hyatt. He has some running room and gets down there for a nice, nice gainer up close to midfield before finally being brought down by number 10 of the Sandpoint Bulldogs. And that's Kurt Berkeley. The Sandpoint Bulldogs were caught a little bit sleeping that time. Badgers get a nice gainer. They're up close to midfield. Ball resting on the about the 47 yard line. First and 10 for the Badgers. Nice crossing pattern on that last play. 
Badger set once again. I formation in the backfield. Todd Van Gundy must feel a little bit better now after that play. Pitch out. Whiny gets it. Has some running room around the right side. And he gets going to get down there close to a first down before he's finally brought down by, it looks like, about five defenders. But nevertheless, Bo Whiny makes a nice gainer out of it on the tackle. Jared Campbell for the Sandpoint Bulldogs, one of the men that was on top of him. Going to be about a yard to go, a second down and one for the Bonners Ferry Badgers as they're moving the ball. We're down to within seconds now, about 20 seconds to go, first quarter. Badgers will have to hurry to get a playoff. It looks like they're going to let the clock run out. Maybe not. They're going to get the play away. Pitch out. Whiny comes around the left side. And he's going to be brought down. But he gets inside the 45-yard line to about the 44-yard line. Going to be close to a first down. He might have to measure this as the quarter runs out. At the end of one quarter of play, we have Sandpoint, 14. The Badgers have zero. And the Badgers showing a lot of heart, not giving up. No indication yet whether it's a first down. They'll have to switch sides of the field right now. Pacific Coca-Cola Balling Company of Spokane, Washington is one of tonight's sponsors. They would like you to enjoy the original taste of Coca-Cola Classic, a great taste refresher. Pacific Coca-Cola Balling Company distributes most fine Coca-Cola products to the various retailers in Boundary County. So wherever you get your cool, refreshing pop, stop in, pick up some Coke products. You'll love them the sidelines for a little discussion before starting the second quarter. They're now set. I formation once again in the backfield. Todd Van Gundy marks the signals, gets the ball. Second man, flag goes down and there's nowhere to go. No gain on that play. That was a third down and less than a yard to go, but there is a flag. We'll have to see who it's against. Looks like it's going to be against the Badgers. They're waving off the flag, looks like. No flag. So they might just reap. It's going to be a fourth down. Fourth down, less than a yard to go, and no gain on the play. And so we'll have to see if the Badgers go for this one. Last time they had fourth and short, they went for it and made it. And they just may do the same thing this time. No indication yet. Coming in the game, number 17 for the Bonner Stray Badgers. That's Tyler Hurst goes in. Beefs up the backfield a little bit. Now he comes split wide to the right. Man split to the left. Todd Van Gundy. They're going to try the right side of the line, and they're not going to go anywhere. As the Sandpoint defense held right there. In fact, I don't even think they got back to the line of scrimmage. So the Badgers, last time they had a crossing pass, this time they tried the left side of the defensive line for Sandpoint and got nowhere. So the Sandpoint Bulldogs will take over first and 10 on their own 45 yard line. It's come split wide left for the Sandpoint Bulldogs in motion. Munson back to pass. Long downfield pass, and it is going to be caught and heading. And once again, Adam Hyatt saves a touchdown as number 88. Carson Jeffries hauled that ball in, juggled a little bit, but got control of it. Tippy toed down the sidelines and gets the ball down to close to the 10 yard line, or it'll be first and 10. Looks like they're going to mark it about on the 12 yard line. First and 10 for the Sandpoint Bulldogs, and a nice pass play from. Brett Taylor down to number 88, Carson Jeffries. And luckily for the speed of Adam Hyatt, he pulled him down, saved a touchdown. Deal bar back, man in motion. And down around the left side, turns the corner, and he's going to be into the end zone. Touchdown for... Sandpoint Bulldogs. The Bar takes that into the end zone. 11 minutes and 31 seconds to go in this second quarter. And we have 20 for the Sandpoint Bulldogs. The Badgers have yet to score. And number 14 for the Sandpoint Bulldogs, Brett Taylor has quite an arm. He threw that long way downfield. <coughs>
Number 11 will be doing the holding. That's Matt Lindgren. Or excuse me, he'll be doing the kicking. Looks like a good snap. Ball is down. Kick is up. And it is good. So it looks like the Bulldogs have a couple of pretty good kickers in Lindgren and Eller. They come out to a 21-point lead with 11 minutes and 31 seconds to go here in the first half. Taft, your family center in downtown Bonnersbury, where they also feature the Radio Shack outlet. Taft, where they have cards for all occasions, they have cassette tapes, gifts, toys, housewares, yarn, stationery supplies, picture frames, and lots, lots more. Stop in. You will never know how much they have until you stop in and see their vast selection. Taft in downtown Bonners Ferry, your family department store. Up once again for the Sandpoint Bulldogs. Adam Hyatt back close to his goal line once again to get this kick. And Eller has a pretty good leg. Line drive. And once again, Adam Hyatt boots it, finally picked up. And heading up field. And some room to run is Clint Arthur. Gets the ball out there in good field position once again for the Bonners Ferry Badgers as he get across the 35-yard line out to about the 30, 36, 37-yard line where the Badgers take over first and 10 on a good run back by Clint Arthur. High formation once again for the Bonners Ray Badgers. Two men split wide right. And a quick handoff right into the right side of the line. Bo Whining that last play was split wide right as a decoy. They handed it off to number 40. That was Rhett Whiney. And he carries it out for about a two yard gain up there close to the 40 yard line. Just about a football length shy of the 40-yard line. will be second down and pretty close to nine yards to go. Todd Van Gundy. The eye formation right behind him gets the ball. Second man gets it. Or excuse me, a quarterback keeper. Quarterback keeper. And a flag comes out. Looks like there might be some interference on that pass play. And that was right up there close to the 45-yard line. And it is against a couple of uh, infractions here against the Sandpoint Bulldogs. Should be a good gainer and should put the ball into Sandpoint Bulldog territory for the Bonners Ferry Badgers. Your corner drugstore in downtown Bonners Ferry where they feature Hallmark cards. And who doesn't know the saying? If you send a Hallmark card, you care enough to send the very best. Also, they have some of the very best candies in Russell Stover candies. They're always fresh. And they have candies down there for all your holidays. And you can get them down there fresh at the Corner Drug Store anytime. Corner Drug Store, Tom Byers, proprietor. The ball is placed clear down inside Bulldog territory to about the 43-yard line. First and 10 for the Badgers, Todd Van Gundy will split back to the backfield, gets the ball, passes on the flat to Adam Hyatt, has some running room, gets down there close to a first down as he gets down to about the 35-yard line of the Sandpoint Bulldogs, and he got that all on his own because as soon as he caught that ball, somebody had his arms wrapped around him from the Sandpoint defense. They're going to mark it, looks like, right on the 35-yard line. That'll be second down and three. High formation, men split wide right and wide left. Back to pass, Van Gundy on the right side this time, and it's overthrown. The ball was intended for number 37, Jesse Ross, but it was a little bit too high. Ross had no chance. By the time he looked up, the ball was whizzing by him. That'll bring up now a third down and still about three yards to go. Split backs in the backfield. Todd Van Gundy calls the signals. And some running room right up the middle. He'll have enough for a first down. Gets the ball down right on the 30-yard line. The ball carrier, number 34, Clint Arthur. So the Badgers, another first down. They've got some momentum. They're in Bulldog territory. First and 10. 
And so the Badgers mixing up their plays real well. Keeping the Sandpoint Bulldog defense a little bit back on their heels. Wide right. Tyler Hurst. High formation once again. Whiny, or excuse me, Arthur. Clint Arthur gets the ball and he has nowhere to go, but he falls forward and gets a little bit of yardage out of it there. Number 34, Clint Arthur was stopped right at the line of scrimmage and just kept churning away until he picked up at least a yard. Second down, nine. That was a little misdirection play. And the defense, the Bulldogs, responded well. Mullally Enterprises. Just off Highway 95, Bonners Ferry, where they manage, professionally manage, the Kootenai Valley Motel. Mullally Enterprises, Mullally manages this motel for your comfort and enjoyment and also for the convenience of its location. Mullally Enterprises, helping sponsor Badger Sports. High pass, and it's going to be intercepted. And it was out there intended for Hyatt, and the defender was between him and Van Gundy and reached up, jumped up, caught the pass. So the Sandpoint Bulldogs. Hollins on the interception for Sandpoint. We're down now to six minutes and 29 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. The score remains 21 Bulldogs. Badgers have yet to score. And the Bulldogs will take over now first and 10 at about their own five-yard line. Brett Taylor will bring the Sandpoint Bulldogs out as soon as the official signal are ready to go. And Badger defense would like to hold them down here and perhaps get some good field position and put some points in the board here before halftime. Now we're set. Badger defense is ready. Second man, field bar gets the ball and there's nowhere to go. He tried to mill the Badger line this time, defensive line. And the de Badger defensive line held him for very little gain, if anything. In fact, there was a little bit of a loss in the play. That brings up a second down and a long 10. So the Badger defense rose the occasion. Clock continues to run. <coughs> Brett Taylor lines him up once again. Sandpoint, two men split to the left. One to the right, back to pass, downfield, and nobody in the area. Closest one was the Badger, number 25. The last play, Bo Whiney was the closest uh, defender, and he couldn't get to the ball. Back to pass once again, and a little bit high. Right, and on the tackle that time was Bo Whiney. Even if he would have caught the ball, Whiney was right there, but it would have been a first down. Nevertheless, it goes incomplete, and that'll bring up... Uh, that'll bring up a third down now. Excuse me, fourth down. Fourth down and still a little bit more than 10, and the Sandpoint Bulldogs, unless they have a pretty good trick play, will have to kick this out of there, and the Badgers should get what they were hoping for, pretty good field position, as Adam Hyatt is up there right around his own 35-yard line. Deep in the end zone, the kicker, number eight, Brandon Eller, but he's got quite a leg. Gets it out of there, high kick, but not very deep. Adam Hyatt calls for the fair catch, and he gets it. He gets it right about the 37-yard line where the Badgers will take over first and 10, and they still have seven minutes and 40 seconds to go. First half, so the Badgers have some good time here, some good quality time to put some points on the board. Badgers break the huddle. Todd Van Gundy got some instructions from the sidelines. Eye formation. Todd Van Gundy has him set. One man split to the right. Van Gundy gets the ball. Fakes a handoff. Rolls out. Pitches out. And can't hang on to the ball. That was number 25. Bull Whiney just couldn't quite hang on to the ball. So the play goes for no gain. Play was not completed, so the Badgers will have a second down and still 10 yards to go. No gain, no loss on that play. Badger, come on, 
Badgers are set once again. Tyler Hurst but wide to right. And they try to ride the middle of the line. Looks like they're going to get back to the little bit inside the 35-yard line to about the 34. And Adam Hyatt on the on the run. I bring up a third down. Clock down to six minutes and 30 seconds. And still ticking away. Badgers need a nice long pass play here to get some yardage. Todd Van Gundy with split backs in the backfield. Van Gundy gets the ball. As being pressured and going to run up to the line of scrimmage and going to be buried. Couldn't find anybody open. And there was a lot of pressure coming Todd Van Gundy's way. He had nothing to do but eat the ball. Fourth field and Badger for the fourth and 14 are going to go for this. Todd Van Gundy might have try along. No, he gets the count. Fakes it, and he'll go in long downfield, and it looks like it's going to be caught. And the Bonners Prairie Badgers get the pass down to Adam Hyatt. Van Gundy to Hyatt. They complete the pass. They get behind the secondary to the Badgers, and they score. The Badgers now with six points. Sandpoint Bulldogs with 21. But more important, the Badgers get a big lift as they get into the end zone. Van Gundy fake one time and then to the long downfield pass. Adam Hyatt running full tilt down the left sidelines, hauled it in, got into the end zone. Adam Hyatt will be holding. As they're trying to point after touchdown, ball is down, kick is up, and the kick. He got it across just barely. Number 11 got it across there. And that is Matt Clark. Matt Clark gets it across the uprights and the Badgers now with seven points, 21 for the Sandpoint Bulldogs. The Ponderé Veterinary Service located in Ponderé, just north of Sandpoint, where they feature dog and cat grooming, in fact, all pet grooming. And the Ponderé Veterinary Service has pet supplies and a diet center and diet food for all your animals. So see the Ponderé Veterinary Service. They'll take care of both small and large animals. Ponderé Veterinary Service, Sandpoint, Idaho. <coughs> Matt Clark ready to kick off the Sandpoint Bulldogs. They have two men deep to get this kick, and the Badgers must feel pretty good about it now. They've scored a touchdown. Clark, good high kick, going to come down, and they, they let it get behind him. Number 82 finally picks it up, and I think his knee might have touched the ground. Picking that ball up was Caleb Bowman, and as he went down to get the ball, his knee touched the ground. So the Sandpoint Bulldogs will have the ball first and 10, inside their own 10-yard line to it looks like about the seven-yard line. First and 10 for the Sandpoint Bulldogs. The Badgers will come out on defense and try and hold them once again as there are still five minutes and 41 seconds remaining in the first half. Pacific Coca-Cola Company dis distributes those Coca-Cola products, including Coca-Cola and Cherry Coke that is smooth, light, and sassy. Try some Cherry Coke today. You'll love the sassy taste of Cherry Coke. Right up the middle as the Bulldogs try to get some operating room. On a first and 10, they get out there about two yards, brings up a, about three yards, second down and seven. Second down and eight, please. Looks like they're gonna go about two yards. Bulldogs once again with Brett Taylor and some running room this time once again right up the middle, just using sheer power and weight and size against the Badgers. And they punch it out. Looks like pretty close to the 15-yard line. That'll bring, that'll bring up a third down and four. <laughs> Brett Taylor brings the Bulldogs up the line of scrimmage. High formation again in the backfield. Brett Taylor has a man in motion. And they're going to run to the opposite, pitch out, and the Badgers sniff out the play. And he gets tripped up in the backfield, finally brought down by number 37. That's Jesse Ross. Didn't catch who tripped him up in the backfield, but he slowed him up so Jesse Ross could bring him down. Loss in the play brings up a fourth down and five. 
So the Badgers hold, and they'll again get good field position. Ball should come down unless it's a real good kick right around the 45, 50-yard line. Adam Hyatt back to get this kick as well. And Stanley, good high kick. And Adam Hyatt's going to let it bounce. It takes a Sandpoint Bulldog roll. Going to go back into Badger territory. They're going to touch it dead on about the 46-yard line where the Badgers will take over first and 10. Hindsight, of course, but they might have been advised to fair catch that ball. Nevertheless, with three minutes and 51 seconds to go first half, Badgers have possession, plenty of time, and they're trailing by only two touchdowns. Badgers, Adam Hyatt split wide right. Todd Van Gundy at a quarterback up over the center. In motion. Arthur in motion. Back to pass. Out in the flats. And very little room. But he puts his head down and gets up close to midfield to about the 49-yard line. And very sandwiched by number 23 of the Sandpoint Bulldogs. Strateger and number 50 also the Sandpoint Bulldogs. That's Ryan Knowles. Big boys. And they brought him down. Second down and seven yards to go. Clock still running, but we still have more than three minutes to go. Adam Hyatt once again on the right side. And Tyler Hurst goes left. I formation to backfield for the Badgers. Arthur in motion once again, and he fakes a pass, and they hand off the center of the line and some running room for number 40. He's still going, and number 40 is going to be headed into the end zone. That's Brett Whiney. And Rhett Whitey takes it all away, and suddenly the Bonner Spray Badgers now have 13 points. There's no flags in the field. 13 for the Badgers, and the Badger fans come alive on a beautiful conceived play. And the Badgers put it in the Sandpoint Bulldog end zone. And now we have 21 to 13, and Adam Hyde will once again hold for number 11. For the Bonner Spray Badgers, that's Matt Clark as he'll try to put another one through the end, the uprights. Last one was a light drive and barely made it over. Needs a little more altitude. Snap, ball is down, kick is up, and it is off to the left as we're looking at it. No good. So the score remains 21 for the Sandpoint Bulldogs. Badgers with 13. So the Badgers will kick off the Sandpoint Bulldogs, and the Badgers are giving a good account of themselves here in this first half. Looked like it was going to be a complete blowout. Now it's just an eight-point spread. Clark ready to kick off for the Bonner Spray Badgers. The ball is on the 40-yard line. And Matt Clark up over the ball, kicks it downfield. A long line drive and going to be taken on about the 22-yard line. And right there, he is met. What a hit. Clint Arthur, he stopped him right now, and and the gentleman who carried that ball knew he ran into something as Clint Arthur takes him right down as he looked like he had some room to run. But he gets the ball out to about the 31-yard line, where it'll be first and 10 for the Sandpoint Bulldogs. Two minutes, 49 seconds remaining, first half. An exciting Badger football game from Ken Mendenhall Stadium. Badger defense, and the ball comes loose, still loose, and I think the Badgers have it. And the Badgers have it as there was a mix-up in the backfield of the Sandpoint Bulldogs, and all of a sudden, the Bonner Spray Badgers are on the offense again, still with two minutes and 44 seconds to go, and they have the ball down right around the 25-yard line. Badgers go back on offense. No give up in these Badgers, this is just what they need. This will give him quite a lift. And the Badgers talking it over in the huddle right now. Badgers break the huddle. Van Gundy. Meeker split wide right. And Van Gundy back to pass once again. Gets away. Long downfield. 
And it's a little bit over his head. Adam Hyatt just couldn't quite run under it. Would have been a touchdown for sure. Just a few inches off. Brings up a second down now on 10. That stops the clock, however. Two minutes and 38 seconds. Into the game. Number 17 for the Bonnetstray Badgers. Tyler Hurst goes in with the play. Badgers trying to surprise him by going for it all. The first down. Second and 10. Plenty of time to pick up some first downs. Split backs in the backfield. They try to send the line and nowhere to go. And Bo Whiting gets the ball and he also attracts a lot of attention as the Bulldog defensive line was right in there to bring him down. Very little gain, if any, on the play. They're going to give him about a half a yard. Third down and we'll call it still 10. He comes split wide right. Adam Hyatt split to the left. Todd Van Gundy with split backs in the backfield calls the signals and a handoff and Bo Whiting gets it and he attracts the attention again goes nowhere and loses some ground this time and that'll bring up a third down or excuse me a fourth down fourth down now for the Bonner Spray Badgers we have one minute and 44 seconds on the clock and the clock continues to run and this might be a kind of a last ditch pass play to end the first half and I think the Badgers are going to call a timeout about 13 yards to go. Badgers going for it. Fourth down. Todd Van Gundy. Back to pass. Drops straight back. And picks it up and nowhere to go. At least they didn't turn it over. The Sandpoint Bulldog defense held as Todd Van Gundy wasn't going to throw the ball into an interception situation. He held on to it. Nobody was open. Had the ball knocked loose, dropped in the ball, and then was tackled. So we're down now to one minute and 29 seconds to go, and the Sandpoint Bulldogs will take over. The Sandpoint Bulldogs now going offense. I formation. They might try and something big here to get back. And there's and wide open on the right side is number 82, that's Bowman, Caleb Bowman, but he can't hang on to it. The pass was a little bit, led him by a little bit too far. Brings up a second down and 10. <laughs> Brett Taylor and a flag comes out. Legal procedure, I think that time. Flag in the backfield. Yes, illegal procedure against the Sandpoint Bulldogs as they, in this second quarter, have been a little bit of rattle here at least the last half of the second quarter. And the Badgers have really been taking it to them. So that all. Second and 15 now for the Sandpoint Bulldogs. As Brett Taylor calls the signals back to pass, rolls out to his right, passes away. And it is going to be complete on the far side. Pushed out of bounds by number 17, Tyler Hurst. But a nice gain, enough for a first down as they get the ball up. I think it's going to be across the 40-yard line out to about the 44-yard line where it'll be first and 10 for the Sandpoint Bulldogs clock down to one minute and 15 seconds. The clock stops while they move the sticks. 21 to 13 as the Sandpoint Bulldogs hurry up with their offense. They're right up there. High formation. Back to pass once again. Pass it over to the left. Good defense by Adam Hyatt. He was between number 88, Jeffries, and uh, the quarterback and just wouldn't let him get the ball. Excellent defense, as a matter of fact, by Adam Hyatt. Brings up now a second down and still 10 from about the 44-yard line. Down to 1 minute and 10 seconds. Taylor, quick handoff, and nowhere to go as the Badgers are right in to bring him down. And that was that a flag comes out. Number 32 was in on the tackle for the Bonner Spray Badgers. 
or excuse me, I believe that's number 37, Jesse Ross. And this is gonna be against the Badgers. Little extracurricular activities here. The Badgers feeling a little bit too good now. And this might be a costly penalty for the Badgers. Looks like a 15 yarder. One minute exactly, and the ball will now be on the 40 yard line of the Bonners Ferry Badgers, first and 10. Brett Taylor, back to pass, drop straight back, passes away, and it is complete. Down the right sideline, gets and into the end zone. As the offense, the Sand Point Bulldogs, catches the Badger defense, snapping just a little bit. As we have about 53 seconds to go in the game, the Sand Point Bulldogs have a long pass out in the right-hand side, right on the line, and he tiptoes down the line into the end zone. So now, Sand Point with 27. The Badgers with 13. Exciting second quarter here for the Badgers and also for the Sand Point Bulldogs as they came to life here after being pushed back on the heels quite a bit. Going for the... Matt Lindgren looks like he's going to do the holding, or excuse me, Matt Lindgren's going to do the kicking. Snap, ball is down, kick is up, and it looks to be good from our angle, it is good. So, 28 for the Sand Point Bulldogs, 13 for the Bonners Free Badgers, and the Badgers have 53 seconds here to try and get some more points on the board before we go to halftime. Bulldogs, Adam Hyatt once again back deep for the, Sand, or for the Bonners Free Badgers. Kick us away, low line drive. They're gonna keep it away from Hyatt and it's gonna be kicked out of bounds. No, and the Badgers touched it, so they'll have to kick this over as Eller kicks that out of bounds at about the 20 yard line. The 35 yard line, first and 10. Todd Van Gundy with higher formation in the back. Van Gundy at quarterback for the Badgers. One man split to the left and going in motion. Whiney goes in motion and they try the left side of the line, right side of the defensive line, punch it out there for looks like a couple of yards. Clock continues to run, we're down to about 30 seconds. And into the game, number 17 for the Bonnets Ray Badgers, Tyler Hurst goes in with the play. Time for about one more play. Adam Hyatt, wide right. Down to 20 seconds exactly. Don't know if they're going to try one big play here or not. Van Gundy going back to pass, and he's going to be smothered in the backfield. And that should run out the clock. Now they blow the whistle, but the clock still runs. And I think it's going to run out. So at halftime, we have the Bonners Ferry Badgers with 13, the Sand Point Bulldogs with 28, as from Ken Mendenhall Stadium at halftime, the first game of the season for 1996, the Badgers have given good account of themselves. Second half coming up. half. The Bulldogs will be kicking off the Badgers. Number eight, Brandon Eller will be kicking off. Adam Hyatt deep along with number 25, Bo Whiney and Clint Arthur. And the ball is bobbled again. Adam Hyatt finally picks it up and he heads up field. Has some running room right and jogs back left and he gets the ball out across the 40 yard line with the Bunners Free Badgers will once again have pretty good field position. Adam Hyatt breaks through there before he's finally brought down by Justin Bick. And the Badgers are first and 10 as we start the second half. The score is 28 for Sandpoint, 13 for the Bonners Frey Badgers. But the Badgers have been giving real good account of themselves after the first quarter. They came out and have really been taking it to the Sandpoint Bulldogs both offensively and they've been done, done real good on defense. Todd Van Gundy at center, eye formation once again in the back. Fake rolls out to his left, passes away, and into a crowd. And it's going to be a reception. Right into a crowd. There were two defenders right around the receiver, and he still got it. And so that'll be a second down, and looks like about six yards to go. And the ball will uh, now be on the 46-yard line. Second down and six yards to go for the Badgers. Wide right, number 17, Tyler Hurst. Van Gundy hands it off right up the center. Ball comes loose, and the Sandpoint Bulldogs finally see it, and they fall on it. And there are 
Sandpoint Bulldogs will have this ball as it comes loose. It'll be in Sandpoint Bulldog territory and right around the 48 yard line. But nevertheless, they're gonna put it about the 47 yard line first and 10 for the Bulldogs as the ball came out of there. So early here, second half, first break goes to Sandpoint Bulldogs. Brett Taylor hands it off and right there on the tackle. Good tackle by number 37 and 69, I believe, on the tackle. That's uh, Jacob Johnson made the tackle. And he was right in the backfield as soon as the gentleman got the ball to start running. Jacob Johnson racked, racked him up, pulled him down to the turf, brings up. Second down and about 11 yards to go. And the whistle comes before they get the play underway. And it's going to be an official's timeout. Tonight's game being brought to you in part by Taft's, your family center in downtown Bonners Ferry. Taft's is your department and variety store. They have a complete line of housewares, sewing supplies, and toys. And while we're away, we have number 32 taking that ball in a nice ramble at Steel Bar. And he gets down and deep in the Badger territory, down around the 30-yard line, where it'll be first and 10. Tafts, one of your sponsors tonight. <coughs> kind of a hurry-up offense here for the Sandpoint Bulldogs. They're waiting for the sticks to get placed. Now we're set to go as number 14, Brett Taylor. Gets the offensive line for the Bulldogs lined up. Badger defense is set. Taylor, quick count, hands off to Thielbar once again, gets away from the first tackler and heads downfield, and he has some running room, and Thielbar will be into the end zone. And there's a flag on the field out here, right around the 25-yard line. So this is going to come back, depending who the uh, penalty is on. If it's on the Badgers, of course, the touchdown will stand, but there's a flag out here, very possibly could be against the Sandpoint Bulldogs. The touchdown count must be against the Badgers. Standpoint declines, so we now have 35 for the Sandpoint Bulldogs, the Badgers with 13, and the Sandpoint Bulldogs will go for the point after touchdown. Number 11, Matt Lindgren to do the point after touchdown honors once again. This game out here to snap, ball is down, kick is up, and the kick appears to be true. It is. And a few altercations out on the field, nothing serious as the officials step right in. So we now have 34 for the Sandpoint Bulldogs. Thir no, they got it correct, 35 to 13. They had it wrong in the scoreboard. 35 to 13 for the Sandpoint Bulldogs. And the officials talking it over some of the players out there. They were getting a little bit pushy. They're talking it over right now with number 34, Clint Arthur. I think he's trying to get it straightened out. Nevertheless, the Bulldogs will be kicking off the Bonner's Ferry Badgers with a score. 35 Bulldogs, 13 for the Badgers. The corner drugstore in downtown Bonner's Ferry where your health is their main concern. At the corner drugstore, they have a complete computerized pharmacy. Generic drugs are available, and they'll also have a family prescription profile for their customers. They also have discount drug pricing. Corner Drug Store, downtown Bonners Ferry, happy to be a Badger sponsor. Brandon Eller, the Bulldogs, getting set to kick off once again. Adam Hyatt right back in the goal line. The up runners will be Clint Arthur and number 25, Bo Winey. And away we go as the kick is downfield, a low line drive, a squibber along the, and finally they pick it up cleanly, downfield, and Adam Hyatt had some running room in a hole there for a moment, but the defense of the Bulldogs closed up pretty quickly, and they bring him down shy of the 35-yard line to about the 34, where the Badgers will take over now, first and 10. The Kootenai Valley Motel, professionally managed by Vallely Enterprises for both comfort and environment and your enjoyment. The Kootenai Valley Motel, professionally managed by Vallely Enterprises. 
along with number 83, Brian Meeker. Split back in the backfield. Van Gundy gets the ball. Drops back to pass. Passes to his left. Could have been intercepted and also could have been caught for a good gainer. Neither one of them happened. The pass goes incomplete. Brings up a second down and 10 yards to go. Wide right, number 17. Tyler Hurst goes to the left. And a pass is to the left, and it is also dropped. Looks like Hurst was ready to run downfield before he had control of the ball. Pass goes incomplete, stops the clock. Nine minutes and 46 seconds here in the third quarter. Score remains 35 to 13. Brings up a third down now and still 10 yards to go. Brian Meeker back in the game. He comes split wide right. Adam Hyatt to the left. I formation in the backfield. Todd Van Gundy straight back to pass, and he is going to be swarmed under and brought down around the 25-yard line, which brings up a mighty roar from the Sandpoint fans across the way, and Todd Van Gundy a little bit slow getting up. He's taking some punishment here tonight. Brings up a fourth down, and they're going to have to kick this one away as Todd Van Gundy still trying to shake that off. Fourth down, and looks like about 17 to go for the first down. And the Sandpoint Bulldogs, depending how good this kick is, should get pretty good field position. Right around midfield, I would imagine. And it's blocked. And picking it up is the Sandpoint Bulldog, and they're going to have excellent field position as that block kick was picked up by number 32, I believe it is, of the Sandpoint Bulldogs. That's Jeremy Thielbar. He gets the ball. And the pressure, the Badgers defensive line just couldn't keep the pressure out. And so the Sandpoint Bulldogs will have first and 10 on their Badger 15-yard line. And thus far in the third quarter, nothing has gone quite right for the Badgers. Brett Taylor has them set once again, the Bulldogs. Badger defense ready. And a quick handoff to Thielbar, and he just powers his way into the end zone. Flag comes out. Doesn't get into the end zone, but he's down. Looks like about the two or three yard line. A couple flags come out. But Thielbar just keeps those legs churning. A couple of Badgers still down on the field. Looks like somebody might be nursing a hurt arm. Now he gets up. I think that was Jeff Myers, a little bit slow getting up. <laughs> Penalty goes against the Sandpoint Bulldogs. Fourth down, and they'll end around reverse. And number 20, and the ball comes loose, and he falls in the ball. So Steve Munson lost the ball. He was heading for the end zone, but he lost the ball. It was knocked loose, I believe, by the Badgers. So that brings up now a second down, and looks like about still 14 yards to go for the first down. Bulldogs break the huddle as... Number 14, Brett Taylor has him up the line of scrimmage, ready to go on offense, gets the ball, pitch out to Thielbar, and he goes right up the center, and he is once again on his way to the end zone and gets into the end zone. Runs through the Badger defensive line and through the secondary and gets in for the touchdown. And the Badgers on that play can only kind of watch in awe as the score will now be 41 to 13 in favor of the Sandpoint Bulldogs, and this has been an all-Bulldog quarter thus far here in the third quarter. They've done as they wished. Seven minutes and 52 seconds still remaining. I'm trying to put another point on the board. He's been quite successful thus far. High kick and a high snap, and he gets it to the uprights. Very true, so we now have 42 for the Sandpoint Bulldogs, 13 for the Bonner Stray Badgers. Your Pondere Veterinary Service, Sandpoint, Idaho, at the Kootenai Cutoff Road. Their telephone number is 263-2145. The 
Padre Veterinary Service features service for both small and large animals. They also have medicine and surgery available. Padre Veterinary Service, happy to sponsor tonight's game, the Sandpoint Bulldogs versus the Bonners Free Badgers. Adam Hyatt, Bo Whiney, and Clint Arthur back to get this kick. Eller to do the kicking once again. And the kick is downfield. Low squibber right on the ground again, taken by one of the up men this time. Number 19. Josh Stanley took that ball and moved it out. They're going to mark it, I think, right around the 35-yard line. Taking it back now a little bit. They're going to mark it on the 31, 32-yard line, where it'll be first and 10 for the Bonners Free Badgers. Third quarter, seven minutes and 20 seconds remaining. First and 10 for the Badgers as Todd Van Gundy goes in with the play selection. Split backs on the pro set in the backfield. And they go around the opposite side, some running room. And misdirection play that time, but it's gonna be enough for a first down as taking it up to about the 45 yard line on a good run. Action play with Red Whiney making some good yardage. The first and 10 as Van Gundy and there's offsides. I think the Badgers jumped offsides first. Flags came out on both sides of the field. Wanted to see who moved first. Legal procedure against the Badgers. So the Badgers will lose five. That are first and 10, and then I'll be first and 15. Van Gundy, pro set in the backfield. Long count, gets the ball, and right up the center, and still pounding his way in there. The runner gets out for a couple of yards, looks like. Number 17 momentarily leaves the field. That's Tyler Hurst. And looks like Meeker will be going in with the play. As the Badgers now have a second down and about 12. Meeker goes to the left. Van Gundy sends in motion. Whiney in motion. And Rhett Whiney gets the ball. And he gets back to about the original line of scrimmage. So the Badgers will now have a third down and still 10 yards to go. Catch the wave, the Coca-Cola wave. And drink Coca-Cola Classic just for the taste of it. Coca-Cola Classic and Coca-Cola products are distributed in this area by Pacific Coca-Cola Bottling Company of Spokane, Washington. And Badgers sent Brian Meeker wide right. Fake pitch out, pass, and some running room. Adam Hyatt gets the ball, and he's going to be up there, I think, enough for a first down. He stretched that ball out after he was tackled. Good play by the Badgers, as that'll give him a little lift again. I think they're going to have enough for a first down. At least, at least it'll be close enough, I believe, to measure, as I think that's what they're going to do. Bring the chains out and measure this one. Tafts, your family center and radio shack, located in downtown Bonners Ferry. At Tafts, they're open on Sundays from 12 noon until 4. They're open week weekdays and Saturdays from 9 until 5.30. Tafts in downtown Bonners Ferry, your family center and also featuring radio shack. Fourth down and very short, probably a couple inches to go for the first down. A quarterback sneak, and Van Gundy does it. He gets the first down. So the Badgers in Sandpoint Bulldog territory down close to the 45 yard line get the first down with four minutes and 29 seconds remaining third quarter. The score remains 42, Sandpoint 13 for the Badgers. And the Badgers pick up a first down. First and 10 at about the 46 yard line of Sandpoint. Tyler Hurst comes split wide right, high formation in the backfield. Roll out, and Todd Van Gundy can't get away. Two defenders right on him, Two, three or four more came, and they finally brought him down for a loss in the play. A loss of a couple of yards, looks like about four yards, so that'll bring up a second down and about 14. An official's timeout, we have second down and 14. I formation once again coming in motion. Number 34, Clint Arthur. And once again, they try to the center line. Looks like there's not much going in that area. Todd Van Gundy, a quick handoff, and 
the defensive line of the Bulldogs just held. Big pileup. Third down, 13. Todd Van Gundy looks over the defense, calls the signal, gets the ball. Long pass, and that's going to be nobody out there. Nobody there. I think Adam Hyatt was, there was a little bit of a mix-up. I think Adam Hyatt was supposed to go deep, according to Van Gundy, and Adam Hyatt they kind of did a cut-in route. Pass goes incomplete, stops the clock, but that brings up a fourth down now, and still 13 yards to go. And the Badgers, and the first half anyway they went for some long plays but now they're going to call a timeout and talk this over and while they do that we'll bring you a message from the corner drugstore downtown Bonners Ferry the corner drugstore as always have a complete line of cosmetics perfumes gifts they have discount drug pricing and film processing that's at the corner drugstore downtown Bonners Ferry where they have as their only concern your health because they have a complete computerized pharmacy and generic drugs are also available at the corner drugstore downtown Bonners Ferry. Badgers fourth down appear to be going for it coming in motion Clint Arthur and a pass out in the flat Clint Arthur has some running room and he heads up field but he's going to be shy the first down but he gets down to about the 40 yard line inside Bulldog territory. And there's also a flag in the field, so this might be enough for the first down as the Badgers are giving it a lot of clapping going on. And this might be a costly penalty for the Sandpoint Bulldogs and a little bit of a boost once again for the Badgers. Referees are talking over right now. Personal foul. Sandpoint's going to lose some yardage on this one. And the Badgers surprised everybody in a fourth and 13 for going for it. And they're going to make the Sandpoint Bulldogs pay a little bit more now by getting some penalty yardage tacked on. So it'll be first and 10 for the Bonner Spray Badgers down inside the 30. And the ball will be in about the 23 yard line. First and 10 for the Bonner Spray Badgers. On about half the field, just get up the line of scrimmage. But they're set. Meeker split wide right. Whiny in motion, long downfield pass. It is incomplete. Bo Whiny went out for that pass. And the ball was thrown a little bit long by Van Gundy. Goes incomplete. So the Badgers will come back to their huddle with a second down now and 10 yards to go. I formation in the backfield. Tyler Hurst also split wide right. Whiny in motion. Van Gundy right across the center. Crossing pattern once again, and he can't hang on to the ball. That'll bring up a third down and still 10 yards to go. Well designed plays for the Badgers. He just haven't been quite able to connect. One minute, 47 seconds remaining. Third quarter. The score remains 42 Bulldogs, 13 Badgers. As in, he goes split wide left. Adam Hyatt, wide right, split back to the backfield. Van Gundy gets the snap straight back, and he is pressured, rolls out to his left, passes away, and it's going to be picked off. It's incomplete. He couldn't pick it off, couldn't hang on to it. Very nearly picked off. Nevertheless, that brings up a fourth down, and the Badgers, as has been their habit thus far this evening, will probably go for this fourth down and ten. They've had a great deal of success here, fourth down tonight there with the play. Todd Van Gundy has him lined up. Bulldog defense is set. Van Gundy back to pass. Rolls to his right. Passes away. And it's cradled, but it's he got it on the first bounce. So it wouldn't count. So the fourth down play doesn't work this time. And the Sandpoint Bulldogs would take over on about their own 23-yard line. First and 10. The Kootenai Valley Motel is AAA approved. It's clean, quiet, and conveniently located just off Highway 95. The Kootenai Valley Motel is professionally managed by Vallely Enterprises Incorporated. Happy to help you bring bad your sports. So the Bulldogs now first and ten. Their quarterback number 14, Brett Taylor. And it to a field bar off left tackle. Gains a little bit of yardage before he's finally pulled down by number 37 for the Bonners Spray Badgers, Jesse Ross. Pulls him down. 
And Thielbar, big boy to tackle, but Ross brings him down after a gain of about five yards. Looks like a second down and five. Brett Taylor has him lined up once again. Eye formation in the backfield. Back to pass. Straight back being pressured. Passes away and a little bit too high. Intended for number 81 of the Sandpoint Bulldogs. Number 81 is Greg Lorich. Pass goes incomplete. That brings up a third down now and still five yards to go. We have 47 seconds remaining third quarter. And the Badgers would sure like to hold them here and get decent field position as we start the fourth quarter. Taylor once again hands it off and no, it slips down. The runner slipped down, but there was a Badger defender right there to bring him down anyway. And I think that was, if I can get his number, too many players back there. Number 53, I believe it is, for the Bonner Stray Badgers. Or excuse me, number 59, I think it's Scott Ansley. Mm-hmm. Bulldogs are set. They're going to punt it away. Kick is up. Good high punt. That's going to be relatively short. Going to come down right around midfield. Bounces high in the air. Now it takes a little bit of a sand point roll. It's going to be touched down at about the 44-yard line where the Badgers will take over first and 10 as the third quarter comes to an end. The score, the Bulldogs 42, the Bonner Street Badgers 13. We'll be right back with the final quarter. Badgers with the ball. Todd Van Gundy has them set. They have three men split wide right. One man in the backfield, and he goes in motion. That's Adam Hyatt. Todd Van Gundy back to pass right off to Hyatt, and he can't hang on to it, but the Badgers do fall under, but they're going to call it an incomplete pass. That pass just kind of shoveled over to Adam Hyatt, and he looked like he was going to pull it in, but it kind of bounced high in the air and came down in the field, so it's going to go incomplete. Second down, still 10 yards to go. Second and 10. Badgers have three men in the backfield this time. Full set. Van Gundy gives it to Hyatt. Flag comes out, and Hyatt's still on his feet. He has enough for the first down, but there is a flag in the Badger backfield. This may be a legal procedure once again. The ball, if it stays, will be down around the 44-yard line of the Sandpoint Bulldog but they're talking to the Bulldogs, so this is going to go against the Badgers, I'm pretty sure. Legal procedure against the Badgers. So instead of getting a first down, they're going to lose five yards and have a third down now and 15. Second down, 15, Todd Van Gundy. Meeker comes split to the left. Full house backfield. And Adam Hyatt gets the ball once again, has some running room, still on his feet. And still on his feet, and finally brought down. It's going to be enough for a first down as he gets down there close to the 45-yard line, about the 46-yard on this yard line of the Sandpoint Bulldogs. And Adam Hyatt takes that ball, breaks through the center of the line, gets into the secondary, and pulls a couple of them with him and gets the first down for the Badgers. So when it was looking kind of bleak for the Badgers, they once again come up with a big play. 11 minutes and 19 seconds remaining here in the fourth quarter. Full house backfield once again for the Badgers. Strong shift to the right on the line. And Adam Hyatt breaks through the line once again. For a gain, it looks like maybe three, four yards. As he gets down to about the 42, 43 yard line. That brings up a second down and about seven. Seven. Badgers come out with eye formation. Whiney gets the ball right up the center and nowhere to go as the defense for Sandpoint was ready for that play. They ran it once too often. And so the Badgers will now have a third down. Third down and still about, they get third down and about five.
Van Gundy gets the ball, pitch out. And Adam Hyatt has some running room around the right side. Gets tripped up, but he's going to be down there pretty close to a first down. Close enough for I think they're going to go for it. Be a fourth down, probably about a yard to go, a half a yard. Oh, that looks like it's about almost three yards to go for a first down as the Badgers line up. Coming in motion, Meeker. Van Gundy back, passes away, and it's complete. Badgers pick up the first down as the pass is complete to number 25, Whiney. As Bo Whiney hauls that in right on the 30-yard line. So it's a first and 10 for the Bonner Stray Badgers. They are moving once again on offense. Nine minutes exactly remaining here in the final quarter. Todd Van Gundy rocks back and forth, calling the signals, gets it, pitches back to Whiney, or excuse me, to uh, Adam Hyatt. Adam Hyatt takes the ball down inside the 25-yard line, close to the 24. And Adam Hyatt doing some power running here tonight. And they're going to call an official's timeout. So with eight minutes and 36 seconds remaining in the game, we have 42, Sandpoint, 13 for the Badgers. And the Badgers, even though they're trailing by quite a bit, not giving up. They have a pretty good drive of their own going right now. Badgers with Maker split wide right, full house backfield. Van Gundy gives it off once again to Adam Hyatt. And he powers his way down inside the 20 yard line to about the 19, pretty close to the 18 yard line. And that should be enough for a first down. And with Adam Hyatt doing some power running here late, they do pick up the first down. First and 10 for the Badgers. Relatively deep now in Sandpoint Bulldog territory. Tyler <laughs> Hurst goes split wide right. The running back, Adam Hyatt. Todd Van Gundy. First man gets the ball. That's number 40 for the Badgers. Badgers, Rhett Whiney. He gets tackled almost immediately, but does get the ball down to the 15 yard line. A gain of about four. So brings up a second down and six. Badgers keeping the ball on the ground and also moving the ball. Van Gundy. Gets the ball. Adam Hyatt, left side once again, still power running. He gets down, looks like, to about the 10-yard line. And some powerful running by Adam Hyatt. Gets the ball and just keeps on going. And Van Gundy comes to the sideline for some instructions from Coach Reynolds. Third down, and looks like about two yards to go for the first down for the Badgers. And Van Gundy. After the instructions, back in the middle of the huddle, telling the players what we're going to do. Tyler Hurst, wide right. Adam Hyatt, the deep running back. Van Gundy rocks back and forth, gets it, and Adam Hyatt gets it, and he tries the right side of the line. I think he has enough for the first down. No indication yet they might measure this. First and 10 for the Badgers, or I should say first and goal to go. It looks like they have about six or seven yards to go for the first, excuse me, for the touchdown. Ball is about on the seven yard line, first and goal to go. Badgers break the huddle up the line of scrimmage. Van Gundy over the center. Gets the ball, and Adam Hyatt right in the center of the line once again. No stopping him right now. And he gets down to about the four yard line. It will be first and goal to go for the Badgers. Five minutes and 39 seconds now remaining in the game. Badgers, 13, full logs, 42. Second down, second and goal to go from about the four yard line.
Van Gundy once again to Adam Hyatt, and this time, real close, gets down to about the one yard line, I believe, maybe even closer than that. He didn't get in the end zone. Looks like he was stopped at the line of scrimmage. Kind of fell to his right and then fell forward and gets down there, probably about the half yard line. Third down, the Badgers, two more chances to punch it in the end zone and with Adam Hyatt doing the power running for them. Badgers break the huddle, number 17 goes split wide right, that's Tyler Hurst. Eye formation in the backfield. Adam Hyatt tries to stretch across and he gets into the end zone. Adam Hyatt punches it into the end zone, the Badgers score. The Badgers now with 20 points, 42 for the Sandpoint Bulldogs. And the Badgers are not going to get a victory tonight, but they're certainly going to get a moral victory. Hanging tough against the much larger, heavier, faster Sandpoint Bulldogs, the Badgers. 42, excuse me, Badgers. 20, 42 for the Sandpoint Bulldogs. Badgers maybe going for two. And the Badgers are going to call a timeout. A correction on the score is 19 to 42. The Badgers scored six points, not seven. Badgers now going for two points. At least that was the indication before the timeout. With four minutes and 36 seconds remaining in the game, 19 Badgers, 42 for the Sandpoint Bulldogs. After the timeout, Badgers break the huddle. Meeker goes wide right. Adam Hyatt left, might be a passing play to Hyatt. And Van Gundy back to pass to his right. And he gets it into the end zone. Pass to Meeker, hauls it in, gets the two points. And the Badgers now with 21, 42 for the Sandpoint Bulldogs. And another mighty roar comes up from the Badger fans right below us. And I'm sure that's gonna make Coach Ted Reynolds mighty proud the way his Badgers have hung in there tonight against the much larger Sandpoint Bulldogs. Badgers giving the Bulldogs actually all they can handle. Up with Matt Clark doing the honors. Up over the ball. And they're going on side kick. And the Sandpoint Bulldogs are equal to it as number 23 picks it up. And he's still heading downfield. Number 23 for the Sandpoint Bulldogs. Sam Seitinger. They tried to fool him a little bit. But Seitinger happened to be right there. Picked up the ball and gives Sandpoint good field position as they're in Badger territory in the Bonnersbury Badger 48 yard line. First and 10 with four minutes and 26 seconds remaining in this game. Badger defense is set and for first time in quite a while. Offensive line moves that time and for the first time Brett Taylor has the bad or excuse me has the Bulldogs on offense but they make a miscue right away. Legal procedure lose five yards so it'll be First and 15 for the Sandpoint Bulldogs. Officials blow the whistles again before we get underway. They're getting a few things straightened out. Brett Taylor was ready to call the signals. Now the head official is going to blow the whistle and we're going to be set to go. Brett Taylor with eye formation and the whistle blows once again and flags come out. Again, after starting out in Badger territory, they're going to move back to about their 41 yard line after two uh, penalties here. And the Badgers are watching some pretty good running as Munson gets up to about the 48 yard line where it'll be second down, second down and about 13. Second and 15, we'll call it. Clock now down under four minutes. Neiman's under center. Neiman is a quarterback now for the Sandpoint Bulldogs. 
Paul Neiman. And the Badgers are going to hold him for a minimal gain. Not even going to get back to the original line of scrimmage as in the game. The Bulldogs were trying very hard. The Badgers are trying just a little bit harder. And they held him for a minimal gain. Going to bring up a third down and looks like about 14. Clock down now to three minutes and 15 seconds remaining in the game. Signals high formation right behind him. Neiman hands it off. Second man through, and he has some running room before finally being wrapped up. Good tackle. By number 34, Clint Arthur, and also by number 69, and on that tackle, that's Jacob Johnson. Ball down on the 45-yard line of the Badgers, but it's fourth down now. Fourth down and still about seven yards to go. Wide right, Greg Glorich, man in motion. Long pass downfield, and it is going to be caught. No, broken up, and flag comes out. There's going to be pass interference, I think, on that. And the pass interference is going to go, I believe, against the Badgers, Matt Clark. He was just a little bit too close that time. So there'll be a first down for the Sandpoint Bulldogs. First and 10 from the 30-yard line for the Sandpoint Bulldogs after the pass interference. Neiman calls the signals, pitches back, and the runner cuts back, spins, gets down to about the 25-yard line, a pickup of about five yards. So I'll bring up a second down and five for the Sandpoint Bulldogs. Clock continues to tick away. We're under a minute, one minute and 45 seconds exactly to play in the game. That's number 50 for the... Badgers comes in the game. That's Levi Robertson. Also number 51. That's Brian Denning. Sandpoint Bulldogs with Paul Neiman at the quarterback. I formation at the in the backfield. And Munson runs right into a Badger defender. Levi Robertson made the tackle. I think in there helping was Clint Arthur, but Levi Robertson backed him right up. Third down and six, ball right on the 25-yard line. Under 50 seconds now remaining in the game. Neiman calls the signals. Man in motion. Pitch out. They're going to try the left side. And there's some running room as number 20 takes that ball. Munson. And he gets down to about the 20-yard line. Should be close to it. It is. Should be a first down. And the clock is still running. We're under, now they finally stopped it at 31 seconds while they move the sticks. It's a first down. One or two more plays should be coming up. Neiman has the offensive line set for the Bulldogs. And the movement on the lines. They're saying get the clock running. Under 10 seconds. Looks like they're going to let the clock run out. So the final here from Ken Mendenhall Hall Stadium, Sandpoint, 42, 21 for the Bonner Spray Badgers. Tonight's game was brought to you in part by Pacific Coca-Cola Company of Spokane, Washington, distributing the full line of Coca-Cola products. And from Sandpoint, by the Pondere Veterinary Service, servicing all animals, large or small. From downtown Bonnersbury, by Tafts, your family center, and Radio Shack headquarters. Also from downtown Bonnersbury, by the Corner Drugstore. Tom Byers is the owner. Rear Health is their main concern. And last but not least, by Valeli Enterprises, Incorporated professionally managing the Kootenai Valley Motel, the Mr. Suds Car Wash, and Vallali Real Estate.
Again, from Ken Mendenhall Stadium, a tough game for the Badgers. Lose to Sandpoint Bulldogs by a score of 42 to 21. Good night from Ken Mendenhall Stadium.